AMP and GMP formation from the IMP. Now the conversion of IMP to AMP and GMP utilizes a two-step energy requiring pathway. Okay, a two-step energy requiring pathway converts IMP into AMP and GMP. So this is how the conversion of the IMP to AMP and GMP looks like. Okay, this IMP gets converted into aden adenylosuccinate and then that adenylosuccinate get converted into AMP and after like IMP also gets converted into xanthosine monophosphate AMP and this xanthosine monophosphate XMP sorry it is abbreviated as XMP this XMP is then uh, converted into a uh, GMP so this is how the formation of AMP and GMP from IMP looks like. Conversion of nucleoside monophosphate to nucleoside diphosphate and nucleoside triphosphate. Now nucleoside diphosphates that is NDP are synthesized from the corresponding nucleoside monophosphates by the spe base specific nucleoside monophosphate kinase okay this nucleoside monophosphate kinase converts nmp into ndp now this kinases which are involved in this type of reactions don't discriminate between ribose and deoxyribose okay this kinases enzymes can act on ribose as well as well as deoxyribose now this ATP is generally the source of the transferred phosphate and why ATP is generally the source of transferred phosphate because this ATP is present in higher concentration as compared to other nucleoside triphosphates okay among all the other nucleoside triphosphate ATP is present in the higher concentration and that is the reason why ATP is the source of the transferred phosphate. So this reaction is showing you the conversion of the monophosphate into the diphosphate. Now this particular reaction is catalyzed by adenylate kinase. Okay, so in AMP there is addition of phosphate group and the source of that phosphate group is ATP. Okay, and that is the reason why this AMP is getting converted into ADP. Okay, another example is of guanylate kinase. Okay, now this guanylate kinase is phosphorylating your GMP and converting it into GDP. Okay, and the source of the phosphate for this GMP to be converted into GDP is ATP. Okay, so ATP is acting as the source of the transferred phosphate. Okay, these two are the example of the Mon nucleoside monophosphate kinases these two uh, enzymes now this nucleoside diphosphate and nucleoside triphosphate are interconverted by this enzyme which is known as nucleoside diphosphate kinase okay this nucleoside diphosphate kinase converts the nucleoside diphosphates into nucleoside triphosphates and the thing is that this nucleoside diphosphate kinase had broad specificities as compared to uh, monophosphate kinases okay monophosphate kinases are quite specific but this nucleotide diphosphate kinase has broad specificities so this is the example of that reaction okay these kind of reaction are catalyzed by nucleoside diphosphate kinase enzyme as you can see GDP plus ATP is giving you GTP plus ADP as you can see this GDP is getting converted into GTP and here the CDP is getting converted into CTP these kind of reactions are catalyzed by diphosphate kinase enzymes now let's look at the salvage pathways for purines now purines that form from the normal turnover of the cellular nucleic acid or the purines that are obtained from the diet which cannot be degraded 
those kind of purines are converted into nucleotide triphosphates and are used by the body okay if you get uh, the purines which are not degraded they are converted back to the nucleotide triphosphates now this is referred to as salvage pathways for purines okay you have purines you convert it into the nucleoside triphosphate that is salvage pathway for purines now this salvage pathway involves two enzyme okay adenine phosphoribosyl transferase is one of the enzyme and the second enzyme is hypoxanthin guanine phosphoribosyl transferase okay which are uh, abbreviated as aprt and hgprt respectively so this aprt and hgprt are the two enzyme which are involved in the salvage pathway now both of those enzyme that is ar APRT and your HGPRT utilizes PRPP as the source of ribose 5 phosphate group okay where they obtain this ribose 5 phosphate group they obtain it from PRPP now this enzyme which is known as adenine phosphoribosyl transferase this enzyme catalyzes the formation of adenylate Okay, so this is how the reaction looks like. Okay, adenine plus PRPP gives you adenylate and PPI, and this reaction is catalyzed by this enzyme, adenine phosphoribosyl transferase. Now, this hypoxanthine guanine phosphoribosyl transferase, this enzyme which is also abbreviated as HGPRT, catalyzes the formation of guanylate. and inosinate that is inosine monophosphate imp okay abbreviated as imp so these two uh, metabolites are uh, are are formed because of this enzyme hgprt now this imp that is inosinate or inosine monophosphate this imp act as a precursor for guanylate and adenylate okay guanylate and adenylate are synthesized from imp so this is how the reaction looks like guanine plus prpp gives you guanylate plus pyrophosphate and then this hypoxanthin plus prp gives you inosinate now the salvage pathway for the pyrimidines i are quite similar to the salvage pathway for for purines okay uh, pyrimidines and purines salvage pathway are both of uh, both are similar okay in case of salvage pathway of pyrimidines this enzyme that is pyrimidine phosphoribosyl transferase this enzyme will reconnect uracil with prpp but this enzyme will not connect cytosine to prpp okay so that is how salvage pathway takes place in case of pyrimidines